last week was weird. And I'm not sure this week is shaping up to be much better because there's just a lot of wait and see. The smoke is definitely still here. They're calling for a week of rain. And to top it all off, there's now boil water advisory. I guess this is van life. Come to me, 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 come to me. I can't think of a better way to start our week though than having coffee here at the stunning Bow Lake. This is kind of our one little refuge spot that we always come back to. And even when it starts to get busy, it still feels like the beautiful tranquil spot that we enjoy off season. I think the plan for today is to head up back to the Icefield Center. The real reason for that is because it is hot down here. It's not the 40 degrees that we had a few weeks ago, but it is still 30 plus. And we just feel like the natural AC of the Icefield Center is probably a little better for us. Not to mention it is the long weekend. And I'm kind of secretly hoping we can get to Jasper because I'm ready for a little bit of a change of scenery. How's your dance party? It's great. We're gonna get demonetized for this. You'll have to mute it. We're Rich and Kirsten, and living in a van in Western Canada has been more difficult in the past few weeks than usual. We've been dodging wildfire smoke and heat waves while still trying to get outside and climb mountains like usual, but it's safe to say our summer is not panning out as expected. What the hell did we just witness? Now with some rain in the forecast, we're hoping that maybe our fortunes are starting to look up a bit. We've had a nice day of just catching up on things that we have to do at the ice field. It's been relatively peaceful, except for the motorcycle gang that showed up in the afternoon to have a picnic. I guess everyone has to eat, even including us. It's about six o'clock, which means it's dinner time. So I thought I'd show you something that we've been really loving lately, which is super simple and easy to make. And it's pasta. Tonight for dinner, we're having rose pesto pasta and halloumi, which is mm, so good and so easy to make. We're starting off by sauteing some onions, some zucchini and broccoli, and then a little bit of tomato. Then we'll add the pasta and the pesto. At the end, we'll fry our halloumi, and oh my gosh, if you haven't had halloumi fried yet or grilled yet, you're really missing out. Pasta is done. Vegetables are also done. Now it's time to put this stuff together. Now we have to fry the halloumi. While that fries up, we're gonna add in our sun-dried tomato pesto. This is the Classico brand and we love this stuff. Just gonna add a nice, huge helping spoonful. Sun-dried tomato pesto halloumi pasta. Try it, you might like it. got recognized by viewers of our channel. It was very nice to meet you, Robert and Andrea, and see your van build in progress. And also, thank you for the kombucha. It was very delicious. We finally got some rain this morning here at the Columbia Ice Field, and it's kind of hard to believe, but having been out here for over two months now, that was only the second day of rain that we have experienced. And in a mountainous area here that is very dry right now, this rain was desperately needed. And I did not think at this point that I would actually be hoping for rain. We've been trying to line up some time to spend in Jasper over the last couple of weeks, but for whatever reason, it just hasn't worked. But the smoke forecast is improving day by day right now at higher latitudes. So it seems like an opportune time to go to Jasper and actually do some of the stuff we came out here to do, not like sitting in our van and working.
Yesterday, we drove all the way to Hinton, Alberta, just to stay in the Fres and Bros parking lot, partly for nostalgia, but selfishly because we kind of wanted to see if anybody who was living in that parking lot last year when we were there was still there. And good news, it seems like everybody who was actually like living in the Fres and Bros seems to have left and new residents have actually moved in. There's not too much interesting to report from our time in Fres and Bros other than the fact that we found probably the world's best corn chips. It says they're made here in Western Canada by El Mercado. And if you get a chance to pick up a bag of these, they are labeled correctly. They are incredibly addictive. This morning we went down to Pyramid Lake and it is a really beautiful lake here in Jasper. But none of the stuff I just talked about is the actual reason we came to Jasper. There's a few of them, and tomorrow morning, we're gonna tackle the very first reason that we came here this summer. Another day, another lake. This is the famous Malign Lake in Jasper. It's the lake with the little island with the guy canoeing towards it that you see on a lot of postcards for Jasper. It's really breathtaking. A lot of people come here to rent a boat or to take a boat cruise, which is an awesome way to get out and enjoy such a picturesque lake. There are some great trails here and just like us, you can wade in yourself. <laughs> kind of cold. I'm starting to lose feeling in my feet. This is another glacier fed one, isn't it? I'm guessing it is. Yes. Because there are mountains way up there, but they're very hard to see in the haze. How long do you think this lake is? How many kilometers long? Oh gosh. 30 or 40, we can't even see the other side of it. The nice thing is you can just walk along the lake and get a nice private spot to yourself to put your feet in. And I will say for some of the lakes in the park here, that is a special feat. <laughs> because uh, ones like Lake Louise that are small and very popular, getting your own space is not possible unless you show up in December at 6 a.m. Even then, there's people who skate. True, and snowshoe. shallower here. It's a little loud. Yeah, there's a boat cruise. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I feel like I would love to do it. Bye. We haven't showered in a few days. I'm not going to tell you how many, but... <laughs> But we thought we'd get ahead of it today because we want to have an actual shower. So we put our solar shower on the roof to get it nice and warm while we were at Malign Lake. <clears throat> we're going to head back to our campsite, get all freshened up, and we will see you on the trail tomorrow. As long as the haze doesn't get worse. Because it was nice and clear this morning, but it's clouding in again. I don't like it. Well, tis the season for wildfire smoke, I suppose. Yesterday, we were about halfway up Roche Miette when we realized we had a reason to be back in Canmore. So we flew down the mountain, jumped in our van, and drove the three hours back to Canmore. But that didn't stop our desire to get to the top of a mountain this week. So we lined up a different peak a little bit closer to town. And things at Lake Louise were looking pretty good. The wildfire smoke was looking like it was starting to clear until we got towards Bow Lake area. It is not very nice. It seems like there's localized smoke, so I'm really hoping there is not a wildfire here in the area. And there's really just no good reason to hike today because you can't see anything here and breathing in this wildfire smoke is not good for our long-term health. So we're gonna keep driving up towards the ice field and hope that the smoke clears because we have a couple of hikes lined up that we might be able to do there. This is sad. It smells bad. Smells really bad. It literally looks like Crowfoot's on fire. Even though it's probably not. Would you come in and eat your peanut butter sandwich now, please? <laughs> 